was saying was distracting. Could you imagine? Are you alive now? A high pitched scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, be like, like if I see a spider. Right, Have you ever seen me see a spider? No. It's not. I, I'm there. I wow. jumped, jumped to the ceiling. It's better be a spiderless <laughs> office then. I, it is going to be. Hey guys, it's Dr. Emma. We're end of the day in West Hollywood, and we're doing a little bit of Botox injections. We call it Brotox. Some people call it Guy Sport. Some people call it Xeomin. Man, it just depends on which product you're using. Here we're going to use a combination of two things, and I'll explain to you why. We have our beautiful younger male here who's just doing preventative treatments. He looks about 14. Let me tell you, he's a little flushed right now because we did a laser treatment on him, but the redness is going to go down. Squeeze in for everybody. See that muscle? He, he's always in the boardroom. He's always in meetings. We cannot allow him to look like that in these meetings because no one is going to give him the deals mm -hmm. because he's going to look unapproachable. So we're going to use Botox, very targeted to the glabellar com complex here. Squeeze in again. These vertical lines, also known as 11 lines, are controlled by the muscles over here, and a vertical line over here is controlled by the muscle in the middle. Now, relax a second. One of the things we have to be careful about, he's got a wider or longer forehead. If you do too much in the forehead, it can drop his brow, and he already has a little bit of skin here. Everybody gets that in their 30s. So we don't want to do anything to his forehead. We're gonna keep his brows lifted, okay, by doing the Botox here in the glabellar complex, and then smile as big as you can. We're gonna prevent these little crow's feet from forming, keeping him nice and smooth by doing the eye area. Okay, so squeeze in again. Okay, relax. I'm gonna feel a little pinch. One, two, three, no screaming aloud. Perfect. And we're just gonna do just a small bit. Squeeze in again. Relax. Remember, you wanna grab the muscle and go right into the muscle. It's really important that, squeeze in again, you go right, relax, into where the person contracts because that's how you're gonna get the most effective and natural results. Most people do draw these little dots on there and just do what a company tells them to do. That's not what you want. You really wanna focus on, squeeze in again. Okay, relax. You really wanna focus on doing what is the person's anatomy. So if you see when he squeezes in, squeeze, this is more of a U-shaped glabellar complex. We're focusing all of the material there. Now, to keep him a little bit elevated, turn a little this way, smile as big as you can, relax, perfect. We're gonna do a little injection at the lateral part, lateral canthus, where the orbicularis muscle is. And then in this case, because he has a little bit more wide, smile again. He's got some movement over here, so we're gonna go up into there, just a little bit. Smile again, okay, relax. We're also gonna come down here, because he has a little movement over there, and just a little bled right over here. So we're going to hit every level. Now normally I talk about doing one or two injection points smile, but because he's so wide with the muscle movement here, we're going to do a few injection places. No big deal. We're just following the anatomy. Again, little injection here. Smile again. Relax. Perfect. We're going to go right in the middle of those lines. Lauren said, love that it's customized. That's exactly what we got to do. That's the thing, you guys. You want to get customized treatments, and you want to make sure that it's natural to the person. So for him, this is going to make it a subtle improvement. No one's going to know he had it done. The other cool thing is, for people that have flushing or blushing in the face, you can use Botox topically, whether it's a microampule infusion or injection, to decrease the redness, too. So that's another great benefit of using neuromuscular freezers so we did Dysport around the eyes and we did Botox in the middle. I did Botox here because I wanted it more targeted and I did Dysport here because I like that it's softer at the edge and yet, like I showed you, he had a wider smile, orbicularis smile, so the Dysport will be a little bit softer at the edge making it look more natural. That's my own personal preference. It's how I customize the toxins and it's how we're gonna give him a really nice result and keep him looking 14 for a long time. Bye guys. Okay, let him hold the ice pack.